the handshake. Looks like they're ready to roll. And uh, pedigree, actually, on your uh, Tuesday night scrub players here. So Kelvin, mm -hmm. he uh, is finaled in, uh, not final, but made cut in a couple of system opens, uh, regionals. Uh, he's final, or come in, the uh, cut in all of the system opens that he's been to this season, which, you know, achievement. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we did have quite the smattering of them, uh, being that that was the regional level. We usually, at, would have one. We had like four or five this uh, this year. For us, Peterborough and oh, you mean the hyperspace trials? Hyperspace trials, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, he won one or two. I can't remember. He won the Black Knight one. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he, most of the people we had in the cut today, uh, if they're if they were from Ontario, were people who have won a hyperspace trial. Right. I think almost everybody in the cut, at least the top eight, right. already had a uh, invite to Worlds. So yep. there was actually a point where the marshal was wandering around going, who do I give these things to? <laughs> it's uh, a good problem to have. I think this is Jeff's first time on a top table um, of this caliber. Right. So he's got the two FOs again in a little column. Yeah, and he's yeah. got. Uh, oh, we're getting people in the chat saying the stream is very choppy. Yeah, it's been like that all weekend. It's been a little. It's been like that all weekend, chat. Apparently, there's nothing we could do. Sorry, chat. The recording is going to be fine, though. When you put it Ultimately, the recording will be fine. It's just an internet issue. Just the uptake of the internet. So we see Kelvin doing the same opening he did last time. Same thing. It's a good. Opening move gives him a lot of versatility on mm -hmm. getting to where he needs to be. Quick draw is barrel rolling back, or no, failing the barrel roll back, so she is going to stay where she is. Well, she'll either have to jet forward to get behind, get beyond that uh, big old rock, or turn and prepare to face the A wings. Jeff really doesn't want all the heat following on quick draw first. No. He might actually turn away, just do a three turn north. I would think so. But then Kylo's going to be there by himself. I mean, Kylo can handle that kind of thing better. So, um, talking to Calvin about what his toughest matchups were with this list throughout the tournament, he said, like, the absolute <laughs> worst one was when he played Perry's Separatist Swarm that we saw earlier right. today. It's like that was just a, a nightmare. <laughs> you actually lost that game. Yeah. They were both going, both these players were four and two going into the cut. Right. Yeah. Apparently we had four Republic lists, four Republic Aces list in the top 16. But strangely enough, the Republic list did not make it past the top 16. Wow. So they all got knocked out. And FO emerged as the dominant theme. Yeah. With one resistance double list, which we saw earlier. Brian. Bartlett, I think his name was Barker, something uh, like that. No, Brian got Brian got mixed. Nick knocked out in the top sixteen. Oh, all right, 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 right. By Perry, right. And then we had Perry's separatist list, and uh, we had Mark DeBrun's imperialist, the SFs, all right? Drew Edgar's SFs. Yep. All right, so it's like Jeff's doing a little reconfiguring of his little party dance party he's doing over there the sf right the so fo dance party as we thought the fo's are turning in to help cover quick draw okay we have scorch flying in yeah. around the rock or at least threatening to yeah. Nope, barrel rolling back, so he's going to have a long, slow engagement at the A-Wings. Not a lot of uh, big or medium ships, large or medium ships in the cut, um, which is refreshing, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there was at least one of those yeah. Republic lists had... Uh, yeah, had an arc. Yeah. yeah, it's just smattering, like they've got an A-ship. No, like, predominantly dominant large base ships or medium base ships where it's that's your whole list 
And Jackie had his Ketsu. Mm-hmm. And we've got more of a large ship accompanied by a couple of smaller ships. Oh, Bohan had Tavson. Right, yeah. Tavson, the ultimate support ship. So I'll just repeat that for the audience. We're going to have to shut down. We're having some issues with the system. We're going to reboot, uh, and we'll be back up in two or three minutes. The idea is to get the necessary reboot over with before the big action starts. So we'll talk to you in a few. And welcome back, folks. Championship final table for X-Wing in Canada 2019. I believe it's 2019. I'm old. That seems plausible. We have Jeff Siri versus Kevin Lau. Kelvin Lau. Zeri is barrel rolling out. I should follow that with a boost. Looks like Kelvin is going to fan out the A's. Okay. Quick draw has turned in. She has yet to move this round. The Epsilon has already moved and is sporting a focus token. They're both using their brand new uh, templates, Nationals templates. Yeah, I forgot that they got those. Yep. And also, I took a closer look at Jeff's uh, silencer. It is the new mini version. Yes. Not the big goes to the gym too much, even though its friends tell it not to. Exactly right. Old silencer. <laughs> wow. So which which A wing is the red one? Is that that is Greer? That's Greer. Mm -hmm. Think that's a good spot for Greer. Kelvin seems to Whoa. think so. She's going to boost. Whoa. She's probably going to shoot at the Epsilon and just eat shots and not try to solo uh, fight quick draw. But we'll see. I mean, Kylo can't turn in. Uh, I suppose he could boost. Do you think that's a uh, harbinger of what his plan is then with Tally and Poe? Are they both going to jet in there too? I don't know. I mean, the, Kelvin's target has to be quick draw. If you can waste quick draw, he's, you know, then only really got Kylo to deal with. Right. Well, Kylo's the serious problem left right. to deal with. Range three is... Uh, okay. Tally is going to get... Kelvin is hoping to, to leverage Tally's pilot ability by getting quick draw in her bullseye. Okay. Now, Tally can only use that once per round, even if quick draw shoots twice. Okay, here's... That's quick draw with the one? Yep. I think Quick Draw should focus. Yes. Is Poe going to jump in there as well? Yep. Will Block po S foes. jumped in there. I think Poe is out. No way to get in. I think that's range. Well, he'll try a Targa walk and they don't know. He focuses. Should try that Targa walk first. Nope. Okay. Uh, yep. So the blue A wing is Tally. So that's the dark blue. Dark blue A wing is Tally. Turquoise is Zeri. And red is Greer. So Jeff rolls a hit and two eyeballs. Thinks about converting that. I don't know, Jeff. Thinking really hard. It's about the best you're going to do. I don't know about that. These A-wings can just dodge everything. So, Tally using tallies. Yep, looks like he's got it. <laughs> they're laughing. Oh, they're going to be serious. Get the marshal in here for that bullseye check. The bullseye is oh, small. Oh, no, it might, I don't know. Bullseye is minute, tiny. It's always funny when people are checking for the bullseye and you're watching it on stream from, you know, uh, less than a uh, straight yeah. down angle. It always looks like somebody's cheating, but that's just because of the weird angle. Yep. I'm having a little discussion. All right. A little Find debate. out when we see them dice get rolled. So three hits. Yep, three hits coming in from quick draw. A lot of dice, three of eight. Tally rolls five dice. He's like, doesn't whatever. need to spend a thing. 
That was what Kelvin was hoping for. Oh, yeah. Kylo is now going to shoot at at, at uh, Zeri. Everybody measures it three times. You got to measure it three times. You got to be sure. Yeah. <laughs> When's that, that far out? That's a Taylor's expression, but, isn't it? But both of these players, this is their 10th game of X-Wing over the last two oh. days. So <laughs> they're both just burnt out at this point. Kelvin's got his dice throwing Alan back. He does. I missed that. Two evades. Quick draw is evading. One Greer, hit. Uh, Zeri, one. Okay. Quick draw takes one. She shoots back. Cha-ching. All right. She might get something through on tally now. An ankle quick draw. Yep. On her way to good times. So one shield down from quick draw. Three dice, just one. Just one. Oh, heroic! Heroic! Oh, oh no, he used the fourth die in there. That is a No damage. So, end result of one round of shooting, quick draw is down. Oh, no, sorry, we got a shot coming in from the Epsilon. Here it comes. Anger and rage and fanaticism from the First Order. It's just one. Can Zeri dodge it? You bet. With authority. So yeah, they're just considering because this this round is very, very much could decide which way this game goes. They both know all each other's tricks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like the other PTL on PTL match we had, these guys have played each other so many times. I think the A wings just do two straights. Just oh wait, the the epsilon can block them. So epsilon does a three bank. Barrel rolls, goes for a block. Quick Gets draw. Right in their area. Quick draw does a one straight. I think it's a way for Kelvin to get that. Okay, so we're All we're right. having a two bank. Two bank with the epsilon. What if uh, Kelvin takes Greer and does a? Oh, Greer is stressed. A two turn left. Yeah. Uh, rotates, focus boost. Yeah. Then does like a three bank right with tally. Yeah. Um. Nah, it's three banks right. It's not great. We're spreading. And then Poe just does a two turn left and just declines the whole joust with Quick Draw. Okay. That's an option too. I mean, Poe's not stressed. He has nope. everything going for him. Sharing all these PTL secrets. Okay. All right. There's the, there's the bank. And Greer will probably just rotate Focus Boost. There we go. Greer with the free rotate. You mean she might stay there to try to block quick draw? But it's going to be a lot of heat. Yep. Oh, just yep. hanging. She's just sticking. It's going to stick and just fire on that. Ups oh, of course, Kylo up. moves before Tally. I forgot. Yep, big. Initiative bids big here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's Poe hunting. Oh, yeah. As per he should. Yeah. So we're probably going to see a five straight from Quick Draw. Yep. Yep. And just leave it at that, Jeff. Do not boost. He's up. Good, good. Well done, Jeff. So does that get in the S in the five straights way? Nope. He can jump that. Yep. We'll see, though. It's going to be a t tight call. They're going to move all the ships. Get everybody out of the way. Get out of the way. Two, two hour Here final. comes Quick Draw. <laughs> yep, look at that. Millimeters. Our can Canadian brains built on the metric system. We know 20 centimeters. Drilled into our head from a young age. Not me. I still use gang measurement. Really? That wow, is you are old. No, I am. Just kidding. I am real old. <laughs> Seriously, people say, oh, that guy, he's about, you know, 1.23 meters. And I'm like, what? He's that small? 
<laughs> All right, so there he is. Yep. Quick draw made the leap. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's the marshal. Kelvin's own ships take up almost all the space in there where he might go. Oh, don't forget about the Epsilon, fellas. Is she rotating backwards? She's rotating backwards. He's oh, going for well, a, now. a kill. Now Poe can do the one straight. Oh, Two straight. Okay. Oh, Quick Draw can do the double shot. Kelvin is shaking his head. It's bad news for him, he thinks. Well, it's not getting the double shot. Leave Quick Draw alone. Kill the Epsilon. Oh, he no, is he's good. locking Quick Draw. He's, he's, he's given it. He's going for it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, well, it's going to come down to dice here. So Jeff throws three. Spends the focus to have three. Somebody rolls. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Wow. Kelvin cannot roll in the tray. Heroic! Is he spending? No. Oh, wait a minute. Quick draw can't double shot. Because she only gets one bonus attack per round, right? She either has her bonus return shot. Yeah. So what's this? Oh, he's taking the rear arc shot? And whatever A-Wing is just goes, yeah, I'll avoid that. Or maybe I'll take the damage. I'm going to take the damage. Ooh. Must have been on Tally. Okay, so now there's no double shot for quick draw. Poe, oh dear lord. He's going to, yeah, no, he's just spending the focus. He's just going to kick it out there. Three hits and a crit. Kick out the jams. So Bye. two shields and a crit go into quick draw. Uh, is that a crit or a hit? Wait a second, what's happening here? Uh, quick draw just lost all her shields, I thought. Alright, we're sending a messenger to the table to have a quick look at the board state. You can only take... Uh, so, that shot couldn't happen. So, Jeff did not realize that quick draw only gets one one bonus attack per round. Oh, okay, so, you forgot... Um, so you got excited and forgot it wasn't 1.0. So, wait, so quick draw has how many uh, hull shields now? She's, sorry, one crit into hull. What's the crit, Devin? Uh, I don't know. I'll go find out. Okay. okay. Exciting stuff. So that was really unfortunate. Jeff played quick draw a lot in 1.0, hasn't played a whole lot of 2.0, and uh, didn't realize that you're limited to one bonus attack per round, and the rear arc shot counts as a bonus attack. So he got himself into that position in order to have four shots and ends up with only two. Yep. He's trying to maximize his quick draw. Yeah. Burned into your brain. That's the problem with these what? being in a, a 1.0 vet, right? It's like metric yep. system in Imperial. Indeed. I don't, I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You're Celsius, what are you talking about? Your habits get locked in, and, and then you have to rethink everything. You have to relearn. Yep. Oh, heroic kicks in. Better results. So what was that exchange? These guys are like, like we said before. These guys have played each other so often. They're so familiar with each other. Just we're just watching a couple of guys throwing some dice, moving some ships. They don't care that everybody's watching. <laughs> nope, <laughs> they're just doing their thing. <laughs> Slapped in a crit. I think that was a blinded pilot. They're just playing for fun. That's best. Zeri into the Epsilon. All right, one. one hit. Nope, she spends it for two. Advanced optics for two. One evade. Nobody can roll in the Nobody tray. Nobody can. It's impossible. <laughs> a speed X-Wing. Speed x going as fast as they can. They're so like, it's a damage they're from like, the Epsilon? They're in a rush to get done and go out for some bruise. <laughs> <laughs> well, when Jeff walked in this morning, he was like, oh, man, I got to do this. So I just want to eat a hamburger and smoke a cigar. It is, really. And that comes after. <laughs> yeah. Well, he gets one either way. Draws on one hull with blinded pilot. Yowza. So blinded pilot is one of those, again, 2.0 crits that just has it's a totally different effect from its 1.0 predecessor it's much nastier yeah unless you're a jedi 
Yeah, so we... Okay, so that looks like it was a brutal exchange. Did Kelvin not take any damage? No. Heroic saved his bacon. Wow. Wow. And heroic and the fact that Jeff messed up yeah. and didn't realize he couldn't do what he was doing. So we're setting dials again. So got Kylo, and even with blinded pilot, quick draw is still there. Poe's Poe's down two. Tally's down two. Poe is down two, and Tally is down two. So uh, yeah, Tally has no shields. So that is actually Half much more of an exchange than we thought. Yeah. So two damage on Poe, two on Tally. What does Jeff do to come back here? I mean, Poe is stressed, and he's pointing away. Kylo well, can get Kylo's, behind him. Kylo's got his target lock. That's that's going to be huge if he can capitalize that mm -hmm. in later rounds. Quick draw can five straight and fix her blinded pilot and come back at least for yep. one one good yep. shot later in the game. She's a six. She's you know the A wings are in the wrong position to pursue mm -hmm. at this point. Poe is also not going to be hot, so he wants. That seems like a smart move for Jeff to do. Yep. Scorch is doing okay. He can cram himself in there. Yeah. Where is Zeri? Okay, Zeri's way over there, so Zeri cannot block Scorch. Yeah. Okay, and here they go. Look at that. We're already off to the races here. We've got two bank from an Epsilon. Is he trying to keep it alive, or is he trying to get a block? I think he's just taking up real estate. Yeah. He's just getting in there, focused. He's like, if you give me something, I'm going to shoot you. This is where I'm going to live. Oh, there we go. Right. And Zeri shows off her cool ability. Yep. Using it she on... She don't care. Yep. And you have the... Here comes the Scorch. Scorch coming in hot. Coming in hot and spicy. Someone is asking about uh, Mark De Bruyne's Quad Phantoms build. Uh, it was three Mdars and Whisper with Fifth Brother and Predator. It was on stream on day one of this event. Uh, there was no commentary at the time, but the table was mic'd. So eventually those will be up in some form and you can go watch it. So what did Greer do? Oh, she went straight. Yeah. And here comes Kylo. He's going to get in there. Yeah, he's already got his lock. So he doesn't need to do anything. F oh, he took a focus anyway. Yeah. Just Don't want in those case. A wings shooting the heck Insurance out of him. policy. There goes Tally. Ripping it up. Oh, she's just twisting her. Yeah, no fear. Yep, twisting her arc back, getting a focus. All right, marking out for the big blast off. A quick draw. All right. No crit token down, but see if Jeff remembers. He's remembering. He flips it. Poe gets away with a three straight. Yeesh. Which I healed the blinded pilot. Yes, she, she did. did. She fixed it. Uh, Poe could use black one at this point. Uh, Seems like it might. Well, he's got Scorch and Kylo shooting him. I think it's black one time. Uh, it makes sense. Either that or a boost and a focus, and I don't like that where that leaves him. See, Kelvin is on the final table, and not me. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing just the doing the boost, saving it, saving it for insurance. Is he's going to be dealing with Kylo Ren? He just did a straight boost? He did a straight boost. He got up that little one straight template. And that's what he's doing. He focuses. He's gonna lose half there on you go. Oh. Did he forget he has black one? I don't think he forgot he has People black one. People are tired. Is he baiting shots with Poe? 
I don't understand. All right, here we go. Kylo Ren on Poe Dameron. Here's Jeff's red dice. Ho, ho, ho. That's just fine. He's it like, okay. Crit. Spending a force. And oh, it's range three to Poe. Takes two shields. Two shields off of Poe. Bing, bang. Poe is... Oh, no. Damaged engine. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so now his two turns are white. <laughs> Go from green back to, to white. To yes. White. And that was three dice from must be Tally into Scorch. Scorch is going to take the one. Scorch now is fanatical active. And now we scorch do on Scorch on Poe. Take the stress. Throw four dice. Jeff Ooh. throws with force and vigor for hit he hit crit. He's going to wipe Poe out here. Lucky. So only one more crit goes into Poe. Fuel leak. Brutal. You bet your fuel is leaking after right. that hit. Ay, 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 ay. Well, now I think hang on to that slam for a later round. Honestly, he was lucky to survive. Oh, man. Oh, no. Heroic! Oh, wrong faction. <laughs> All right, there we go. Epsilon's gone. Oh! There, that's the first order deck. Showing them off. Showing off those new cards. And we have Zeri throwing hit crit, I guess, into Scorch. One crit ah, goes through. Scorch takes a crit. Crit is direct. Direct hit. Man, this is just brutal. This is a real knife fight. I mean, I just don't understand why Kelvin didn't use black <laughs> one. I mean, he just took <laughs> Three damage, including two crits on Poe for no reason. I think this game just got too casual for them. I think that's the problem. <laughs> it's, a, it's pretty cash. There's the two bank. Two focus ro rotates. We'll probably see a one turn focus rotate. Ooh, yeah, got the block, block there. The scorch. Might have done a four straight with Kylo just to get him yep. through that yep. mess. Initiative is really a huge factor in this matchup. Yep. Kelvin's list is really well equipped to deal with a bunch of different lists because he's got Zarya's a three, Greer's a four, and Tally's a five. Right. So wherever your opponent wherever his opponents come in um that's higher than two uh he's got a blocker he can use yeah and then he, the next step up he's got a mini ace a way right. uh yeah. so that sort of staggered approach to initiative works really well it can as long as you don't mind giving up that flexibility of changing up your ship movement order Personally, I like this better. I mean, you do have to have a plan for flying your guys, where mm -hmm. the, the lower initiative person doesn't get in the way of the, mm -hmm. the higher initiative people. Yeah. Um, it's a matter of practice, I think, and getting used to it. Okay, so we did have the four from Kylo and the one bank. Will Poe deign to use black one this round, or is he just going to be too cool for school? Oh, I think he's just going to be way too cool for school. It's like, look, I'm still alive. I'm just happy to be here. Goodbye. So, chances are... All right, there goes. Quick draw. Doing the slooper loop. Yep. There are those guys doing each other's moves. That's the kind of sportsmanship we like to see. So he's doing the bank. So he did the do the slam. Yeah. Or just the bank boost? Just a bank boost. I'm going to waste his slam <laughs> on a two. <laughs> Nobody's firing at Will him. Will he spend Come the on. slam when he's down to one health? Yes. And did he fix a crit there? That's his aim game. Yeah, only the fuel leak guy is, is fixable. So Kylo has to shoot on Greer. And he gets a mere two. That ain't going to hit Greer. 
It hit Ooh. Greer. <laughs> Greer takes a shield. Pink. And we'll go Tally into Wounded Scorch. She gets hit crit. I think it's range three, so we'll see if Scorch can survive with four dice. He takes one more crit. Oh, oh he was down to one. Oh, well, he's gone. Scorch is blown up. Good night. See, I think Jeff has a secret desire for an endgame, which is just Kylo. Yeah. And Kelvin has a secret desire for an endgame, which is just A-Wings. <laughs> so they're just kind of both subconsciously pruning their own ships until uh, they get to the point where that's, it's the endgame that, they want. That's a theory of sorts. It's a theory. I think that's the. I don't think that's the actual theory, but <laughs> there's a lot of loose tokens around the board. Yeah, bugs me. He is just He's saying, "Come, throw the heck come down. on, let's do it." These guys are playing a little on the reckless side. You don't actually need the stress there, Kelvin. You didn't boost. Did he rotate? He didn't. But uh, these guys have played a lot of hex wing <laughs> over the last couple days. Things are starting to fall to pieces in their poor little brains. They need sustenance. They do. Jeff needs his hamburger. Okay, Greer does three bank. Focuses. Kylo can dodge that. Mm, but he's decided instead to do the bank. And he's focusing. It's an exchange shots with the A Wing. One turn for Tally. I think Tally must be worried about blocking Poe. Because he definitely wants to get Poe to go. Be I mean, safe. It would be sensible. Kylo's arc is. It's not Kylo. Quick Draw's arc is currently backwards. Uh, she does the two. She's going to throw down with wee little Zeri there. Zeri is at full health, however. Quick draw is only at one health. And she focuses. All quick draw needs to do is take one damage, and she's done. She needs to get four on Zeri to take her out. Bo is doing a two bank. We are not surprised. Will he use the slam this time? I don't think so. I think he's... Boost is fine. The arc dodge. And... Uh, that's really his... His get out of jail free card. It's like his exit. Being that, he's got the damage engine. So the slam is really... Look at that. Three hits Three hits. Quick Draw. Will Zeri take a damage or save her focus? She spends the focus. She spends the focus to not get... She spends the focus to not be half-pointed. Mm -hmm. Oh, Quick Draw didn't need to spend the focus because she's fanatical. <laughs> no. Gets two... Why wouldn't you spend it? Oh, I'm confused about what's happening. I am as well. You know, I guess. The Don't know what who's shooting what. I think uh, Tally was shooting at Kylo there. So Greer shoots at Kylo. He'd have to roll two blanks in order to take damage from this. He does not. But has to spend both force. And now Zeri into quick drop. Bye and bye. Quick draw dies. QD. All right, so it's now 119 to 79. Kylo is at full health. Kylo against the world here. And we got a really long end game here. So this is the thing with two-hour finals, is that there's no winning on time. There's no winning by points. You've got to win. You've got to go for full completion of the game. I mean, you can try to win on time with Kylo. He's probably the one ship in the entire <laughs> game you can try this with. I mean, it's just that after about... You know, an hour of chasing Kylo around, your your opponent will hate you. True. Like a deep abiding hate that will go on for generations. <laughs> like they'll blame your children. <laughs> so Poe apparently fixed the fuel leak at some point. 
It's hard to tell with the speed these guys are playing. All right. So Kylo has oriented himself back towards the true object of his hatred, Poe Dameron. He's got the lock acquired. Yep. He's going to... Tally is just doing a readjust round. Yep. Will she bring her arc around? She's actually going to boost. Focus. She's probably out of range. Yeah. Boost and rotate. Uh, Poe should GTFO. So I would say he should... Jet him out, and oh no, nah, he's, he's not. Gonna, he's not. He's giving her. He's like, I'm not playing. I'm not playing a one hour ten eight. Let's do this. Kelvin is motivated by a deep uh, subconscious desire to lose. <laughs> Apparently, yes, that is just gonna shoot range three through a rock on Kylo. On Kylo Ren, why not? Freaking Ren. Three hits. Three hits. Will it cause Kylo even a damage? Uh, oh, yeah. And no, not even. Uh, now, Kylo could pause to spend his force to put Panic Pilot on Poe, but given how busted up Poe is, maybe it isn't necessary. What's Jeff thinking about? Jeff should shoot Poe. The real Alarith says, thank you for the stream, guys. Much appreciated. Yo, real Alarith, you're quite welcome. All right, so a lot of thinking, a lot of ro shaking. So interaction between R4 and damage. Oh, oh yeah. All right, so, so here we go. What was happening? Is he spending the lock? He's just going to just gonna let Poe roll the defense dice without further modding? Apparently, hmm. yes. Saving it for the kill shot. Jeff is going cautious. Yeah. No, no, he is spending the lock. So it's one hit, one crit. Poe can actually dodge that, but he doesn't. He takes the crit. And Fuel Leak. Crit. No, oh, Fuel Leak was, was taken care of. What was the crit? What was the crit? Weapons failure. Weapons failure. So. Oh. It was the A Wings. Yeah, I guess. High, more high speed X Wing. And Kylo uses his last force to take no damage. Poe is an embarrassing <laughs> version of his former self, now having only one hull, damaged engine, and a weapons failure. It is not like uh, Kelvin to play this fast and loose. <laughs> he is, he's uh, had it, apparently. I mean, as I mentioned, Kelvin doesn't really like X-Wings. He likes A-Wings. And so Poe is in here because a ship with three attack dice is necessary. Yeah. So, you know, unconscious desire to get rid of Poe, so it's the game he actually wants. I, okay. Uh, but it's the ship he needs. Kylo has not taken <laughs> any damage. I think Kylo has to pick a direction to bail this round. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I, Poe can do it to bank and then boost barrel roll if necessary. So he's not getting Poe this round. Okay. Uh, and the A-Wings, at least uh, Zeri and Tally, are going to come back in and shoot at him. They might not get anything through, but they're going to try. Yeah. This is an A-Wing kill box round. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to go at Zeri, who's got three health. I'm going to take the focus. I mean, ah, okay. So he's barrel rolling to block the two straight that he thinks is coming from Poe. Oh, that's not going to do it. Well, it blocks the two straight. You think that'll block one. a two straight? Yeah, I think the two straight would have been the call there from Poe to overshoot just in case. Otali is moving after Kylo. That makes a big difference. If it comes down to A-Wings versus yeah. Kylo. She focuses and boosts. Puts, 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 puts the big guy in her bullseye arc. Yeah. Is Poe doing a one straight? If he is, this is this is bad news for Kylo. I mean, I call the two-bank, mm, yeah. Doing yeah. the two-bank. 
I mean, Jeff had to. So if he hadn't done that, if he hadn't done the two bank, Kylo might have got shot on him. Oh yeah. Still, it's fine by Poe. I mean, Poe is now effectively an A-wing with his weapons failure. Right. And damaged engine actually is way less good than an A-wing. So we got Kylo shooting Zary. Spinning the old charge there. Yep. So Tally will spend her charge, which will allow Zary to have an extra green die in defense. I think that's range three anyway, so it'll be a five dice defense roll. It's only hit eyeball, so Jeff doesn't bother spending anything on it. We get two evades, so it was the right call. And then Tally shoots at Kylo, hit crit. Kylo tries not to roll two blanks. He has one blank. We can't see what the other thing is. Let's see what's coming. Another blank. Kylo takes a damage. It regains a force. Mm -hmm. So the slow work has begun. We have a range two through the rock. It is two. Uh, and oh, he takes another damage. Oh. Kylo is going down. Those green dice are like, oh, Jeff's cursing his green dice. And heroic, heroic for Zeri. And hit crit coming in from Zeri. He's going to have four dice to defend. Surely he can roll two paint. Surely. He does. He does. He's good. Spends the focus. And boy, did Kylo's fortunes change there. One point away from half. And now the A-Wings are looking at him hungrily. And we're going to be getting more of these RZ-2 A-Wings in the uh, card packs. Is that right? I believe so. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. If they didn't have enough options, here's some more. Here's some more, guys. But the RZ-1, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have enough. Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty sad, isn't it? I mean, they're re-releasing the, the model for the RZ-1 and for the TIE Interceptor, but we don't get no new pilots. You don't even get your old pilots. <laughs> no. Good old Carnor. <laughs> he would be a little bit it would be a little bit rough. Yeah. Well, I mean, he doesn't need to be as strong as he used to be. Heck, I just want to fly the red uh, Interceptor. And be thematically correct. Uh, I've seen people fly with soon tier, but that's wrong. To turn. Go ahead, guys. I mean, when these A-wings push into range one of Kylo, then they can do damage. Right. And he has to get all paint to successfully defend. Yep, the advanced optics is really worth its points. So there's a uh, hey, wing. That's that's Greer up there taking a lock. Yep, declaring her intentions. Yep, I'm gonna shoot you. So this is and an inspired move. That is so, so long as he doesn't land on that rock. Yep. So he's he's clear. He's clear. Very good. Oh, the oh, nubs. The nubs touch. Oh, nubs boy. touch. Well. Well, this could be the end of so long. The whole night's was a good thing. gamble, though. Nubs touching, so down to a millimeter in uh, difference. So looked right, could make it. Tally nubs takes. touch. That's a nursery rhyme, I think. On by a nub. All right. Well, there we go. It'll take a miracle for uh, Kylo not to Should take two a lot of heat two attack here. dice Poe actually bother? Or maybe, can you fix a weapon failure? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So maybe he's not. Maybe he fixed that. No, he didn't get stressed, so this is probably doing the single action. No, I don't think he is arc. Oh. Tally into... Only two. Can Kylo dodge? I mean, Kylo's hitting the rock next turn as well. He takes another one. Whoa. Half points on Kylo. Some hot fire from Zeri. 
<laughs> Chad is saying F's for Kylo. Yes, F's for Kylo. Spends a force, takes two. Or oh, spends both force, pardon me, to take to take one. Heats it back up. Down to two. Down to two. May take one going over this rock. And then even two dice Poe can kill him. Yeah. That was a very uh, bold move by Jeff there. And it could have worked. It could have worked. Could have worked. I think we just see a five straight from Greer to catch up. Yeah. Maybe a uh, set up for next move from Zeri. Yeah. There they go. Poe can get on with fixing, fixing that weapons failure. Sure. Make some new life choices. Yeah. <laughs> Zeri is keeping the pressure on. Zip, zip. <laughs> hmm, getting in there. Relentlessly hunting down. This is how you deal with the Scourge of the First Order. Yeah. You just relentlessly hunt them. Okay, so he's not going to just, woo, he's going to roll over hard. Get blocked. Doesn't get any actions anyway. It's true. But this prevents him from getting arc on anybody. Yeah. Um, and he didn't, no, he did clear stress. Oh, it wasn't his stress. I don't know what's happening. There's a, yeah, there was just a stress laying around on the board. No damage. Take the damage. But Tally coming in for the range one. I've been playing it cool. Fix the weapon failure. Oh, fix it. Fix it. Let's even remember he has it. <laughs> no, he's forgotten. He's forgotten all about it because he didn't use crit tokens. Always use crit tokens, kids. He's rolled three dice. Has he forgotten or did he fix it? Yep. Mm. Yep. So, got some stuff going on. Lots of dice. Completely dodge that. Even with the wrong amount of dice. All right, lots of dice flying around. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Just hucking the red dice, hucking the green dice. That's a range one. Let's see, range one, two, range two. So just one hit, advanced optics into two. Three green. Kylo's like, that's okay with me. Oh, that weapons failure was fixed at some point. Okay, What's weapons that? failure. The weapons failure was fixed at some point. Weapons failure is taken care of. Uh, no, there were. Uh, so someone asks if there was uh, Team Canada and the XTC. No, nah, we were all lazy and didn't get ourselves together. <laughs> Honestly, the thing about Canada's X-wing scene is we're geographically spread way the heck out. Um, so. There's the West Coast scene, and then there's the Toronto and Ontario scenes, and then there's the Quebec scenes. But the, we actually don't see that much of each other. It's hard to travel. East Coast. It, Alberta. Flights are expensive. Yeah. So we tend not to travel much nor see each other much. You know, except at events like this. We yep. Players from... Across the country for nationals system open we had this year people came from far and wide it's good get lots of notice mm. you uh can get people to come come to your events it is the last ditch talent he's gonna kill poe oh man Prepare to die, Poe Dameron. There we go. A Wing did swing his arc to 
anticipating he might do something just so tricksy. Yes. I think it will be Greer who destroys the supreme leader of the First Order. And I think that that's probably a spoiler alert for people who are trying to uh, avoid that. I mean, I say it just in case I'm wrong. Oh, okay. And actually, it looks like Tally's going to steal the glory. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Kelvin saw this. Now, is he going to? No. No, he's just going to boost. He's not going to get extreme with it. We should have asked him if he ever used black one <laughs> in the entire tournament. No shots for you, Kylo Ren. Let's see if Tally can do it. Optics are three. This is fairly likely it. One blank, and Jeff is goners. Here he goes. He's shaking. You can see the shadow of his shaking dice hands. Here they come. Those green dice. <laughs> He's bending the force. The force. All right. It is all down to um, Greer. Calvin's just advanced Optics off for, Do it again. Do it again, Jeff. Oh, he's got no force now. He's got no force. Woo! Some effort in this shake. Here we go. He's putting in some shakes. Oh. oh so there close. we go. There's, There's the, the handshake. handshake. We've got our uh, new Canadian champion, Kelvin Lau. All right, with the resistance, he's unstoppable. And congratulations to Jeff Asiri, the runner-up. Absolutely. Uh, Well-flown tournament on both parts.